Hey, we are starting the hike up to Lake O'Hara. It's like 5.30. It's about a four hour hike. So we're hiking in the dark, but we have headlamps, so. Show that we're in the parking lot. Our car is right behind us. Woo we had been hiking all day, so we had to repack our bags at the car before heading up to Lake O'Hara. This little chipmunk kept running around the car and then climbing on all of our stuff, and it was very cute. Yeah, people definitely fed these. We are at the start of the fire road up to Lake O'Hara, this beautiful shelter that was built in 2013 apparently, but we are about to start hiking, beautiful evening, and we have 11 kilometers up this fire road to go. We are four kilometers in, out of about 11, it's almost dark. It was so different walking on a paved road too because we were very used to a rugged terrain. It was pretty uneventful hiking up the fire road, but didn't really see anything other than the sunset and some alpenglow. Which happens after the sun sets and reflects off particles in the air. One kilometer away in the dark, got our headlights on. Approaching the hut, 8.30. Around midnight, I went out with my camera to do some astrophotography. Could kind of see the northern lights here. Um, couldn't really see them with my eyes. There was quite a bit of meteor activity as well. So it's just about sunrise and we got down to Lake O'Hara. And we're heading up the Opabin Plateau. Hopefully to get the sunrise there. Since it was the fall, it had been getting pretty cold overnight, so there was a little bit of ice on the lake in the morning. This wasn't even all the way up to Opabin Prospect. This was part of the way up, and it was a great view of this lake down below called Mary Lake. We were hoping to already be at the lookout by this time, but it was a lot farther of a hike than we were thinking. We're hiking up to Opabin Prospect and we're going all the way up and over there, switchbacks and out and along to that point there. It's going to give us a great view of the lake. We got up to Opabin Prospect. It was nice to see the larches at the top and it was cool to see a little bit of snow. Lauren wouldn't come on the edge of the cliff for photos of me, so I'm by myself. It was scary. It was scarier than it looks. Like there was. <laughs> it was these... really high up. And then on our way down, we saw a helicopter. This helicopter is picking up waste barrels from our hut and flying them over to the fire road. And we hiked down to Lake O'Hara. Now the sun was out, so the reflection was pretty cool. Got some nice sun star photos. It was really cool and very peaceful. We didn't see more than, I think, four people that whole time. When we were hiking back down from Opabin Prospect, we saw a couple hiking up with this inflatable kayak, which was cool. There are actually two buildings that are part of the Elizabeth Parker hut. The one has the kitchen and space for about 17 people to sleep. And the other one is a smaller building, which was where we slept and it has room for eight people. Here's the Elizabeth Parker hut. Kitchen entrance. Pots for boiling water, propane stove, sink, dishes. The 
This is the main sleeping room, tables, bunks. It's later in the day and we're hiking back up to the viewpoint over Mary Lake hoping to catch a nice sunset. Yeah, we hiked up past Mary Lake again to this viewpoint and we brought like our dinner with us and water and we cooked pad thai and I think chicken primavera and we watched the sunset. It was very nice, very peaceful but it did get pretty cold once the sun went down. I was definitely chilly. We had dehydrated meals for this, and you basically just boil water, fill the bag with water for like 15 minutes, and then you can eat it and cook, and it tastes decent. One of the really cool things about Lake O'Hara is that it's pretty restrictive to access, they run two school buses during the summer. And you can go there at like 8.30 or 10.30. And it's really hard to get a spot. So it's very, very quiet, compared, especially compared to like Moraine or Louise. Lake O'Hara is just to the west of Lake Louise. Like if you climbed over the mountains in between Lake Louise, Lake O'Hara is like right behind Lake Louise. What are you eating? Had Thai. It's very good. A little spicy for me, but I don't have any milk out here. It was really nice to be there when we had to hike up the fire road as well, because it meant that there were even fewer people around. And I believe Lake O'Hara Lodge had just closed, so there were actually no visitors staying there which lessened the overall number of people. Yeah, and we were technically in the fall season, so we were able to book the Elizabeth Parker Hut. Normally in the summer, it's like a 1% lottery to get a spot at the Elizabeth Parker Hut, and you also have to pay to even get into the lottery. We made it to Schaefer Lake during blue hour. Nice reflection. We waited for a while for the Northern Lights, but didn't see them that night. I took a few pretty nice astrophotography shots. We went to bed early and then got up around five to hike to Lake MacArthur for sunrise, which is about five kilometers away. It was really cool to hike early and see the sun starting to rise and also I found this hike very interesting with the extreme rocky terrain. We were like just along the tree line, which is cool because there's a lot of rocks and then you'll see a lot of the larches and because it was early October, all the larches went yellow. It was beautiful. There were multiple different points that we stopped at to take pictures and just enjoy the beauty and the surroundings. I really liked the larches when we got close to Lake MacArthur. The larches grow just above the other trees because since they lose all their needles in the winter, they're able to survive more of the snow because their branches won't break. Some of the hike felt a little bit challenging just with a pretty narrow path, but it was nice we had pretty light backpacks because we were just hiking out and back from the hut. And then we passed Schaefer Lake again on the way back and there was a really nice reflection. We made it back to the hut pretty early around 9 a.m. and then we packed up and got ready to hike back down and out.
for three hours this morning for sunrise, so I'm pretty dead. Looking forward to getting some food and sitting.